Hello, hello seekers. Welcome back to your channel. This reading is going to be for Aries. Aries is going to be your next 48. Okay, so if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, I welcome you guys back. You know you're a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Um, for, my, uh, for my returning seekers, I love you guys to the moon and stars, okay? All right, so let's get into a prayer. Thumbs up your wreath because it does help the channel to grow. We're going to tap into your energy and pull through your next 48. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. Amen, y'all. All right, so Aries, your next 48. Just know that this is a general reading, not a personal one. It may or it may not resonate with you guys, okay? Take what does, leave the rest. Send it back to the universe where it came from. All right? Place your person, past, present, or future, whatever situation that you're presently dealing with. Um, place your, per your, your placements also where they need to be placed. Cross watches, please do the same. Personal readings are available. Um, you can always schedule with me simply by checking in the description part of this video. I always say that in all my videos, but everyone seems to ask me all the time, how do you connect with me for a personal reading? Always check in the description part of the video, okay? I always have the number and the email and all the other good stuff, okay? It's down there, y'all. It's down there. It's down there. All right, so let's tap into your energy and pull in your overall here, right? All right, angels, what is the next 48 hours? Okay, what's the next 48? You already did your overall, y'all. This is your 48. All right, the 48. Angels just say that you need to be focusing, okay? Let's see what's going on with you needing to be focused here. I enjoy being with you, but not ready to commit. Okay. Heartbreak and the feelings of being alone hurts me. I must let go. Hmm. All right. So this is a sense of completion here. Okay. Um, something needs to be completed here, but it's only going to be completed if you remain focused, focused. All right. So this is what angels are saying here. But this focus, focus is having me feel like for some of you guys, you're trying to enjoy what you're presently dealing with, but you may be having a hard time enjoying that simply because you're looking for someone to commit. I enjoy being with you. You enjoy being with your person. You enjoy being in this person's company. Okay. Is what I'm seeing. Um, you're really feeling their vibes. You're really... Uh, you know, liking the attention that they may give you. Um, but what I'm feeling is that you're not getting this commitment that you're yearning, okay? Someone is looking for a commitment here, but not receiving this commitment. Um, someone is just not ready. They're not ready to commit, okay? They're, not, they're definitely not ready to commit to you. Now, what I am picking up for some of you guys, I'm hearing heartbreak and the feeling of being alone hurts me, Okay. So I do feel like, you know, you might have been heartbroken by a situation that this person might have brought towards you here. Um, now you're feeling rather alone because these, whatever they had might have bring towards you or brought towards you, it wasn't sitting, wasn't settling. And it kind of put a damper in this relationship where it might have caused some kind of a disconnect or a separation for some of you. Okay. Um, I do feel a sense of feeling alone here. This is what I'm feeling. Um... And the feeling that you're feeling of being alone really hurts you. I do feel like, you know, it may hurt your person as well because I do feel like they are connected to you. Um, you know, but you're just not ready to commit here. Um, and I'm feeling like because someone may feel like at this point you're not getting that commitment that you're looking for from this person, someone is just ready to let go. I'm hearing I'm just going to let you go. I must let you go. If you're not ready to commit to me based on what I'm already giving you or showing you that I'm ready for what's going on here and you're not ready to kind of try to meet me halfway, then I'm hearing I must let you go. I have to let you go, okay? All right. Next 48. What's coming towards Aries? Next 48, please. 
What is the next 48? What is the next 48? What's coming towards Aries next 48? All right, let's, let's see. Let's see, Aries. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So now I kind of see why this person is really not ready to commit. It's not like they don't care about you. It's not like they're not feeling your feeling your vibes or they do like your company. This person really loves your company. They love to be around you. However, they want to be kind of a promiscuous here, okay? Someone really um, likes the freakier end of the relationship, um, which is a threesome that is coming through. I feel like if this person would have you doing threesomes with them, they would kind of want to be with you. Not like it will give you the commitment that you need because you're simply not ready to commit. But I'm hearing, can we have a threesome? I love you more. I, I will connect with you more, you know, if you allow us to have a threesome. And I'm hearing a settling, all right? Someone is either trying to settle for less or have maybe has already done that. I'm hearing that it won't change anything. Settling for less, but want more. See, you're settling for less. Somebody's settling for less here, okay? And just know that the roles could be reversed here, okay? Because it is a general and not a personal one. But someone is uh, ready to settle. Someone is ready to give this person their threesome heart desire. But just know that it won't change the situation. Because what I see happening here is you giving in and they giving out. It's not, you're not winning. It's not a win-win thing. It's a win-lose all. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. It won't change anything. They're just going to want more and more and more. And you're still not going to get this commitment that you need. Next 48, please. What is the next 48? All right, so the next 48, I'm getting, I'm going to work I'm going to make you want me even more, okay? So your person is filled with confidence here, okay? Um, a lot of confidence. Um, to the point where it starts to feel more like ego here. Caught up in a love triangle, but love it. This person is caught up in a lot of things, and they love it. And this is why they're not ready to commit to you. And they can't commit to you right now because they know if they commit or if you force this person to commit to you and be with only you, you're going to have to deal with third party situationships, whether it is a forced third party situationship or whether it's a give in, okay, type of situation, but it's never going to go away. Once you start this type of a chapter, I'm hearing it's never going to go away. It's going to be more and more and more caught up in a love triangle, but love it, right? This person will never at this point right now be committed to anyone what is this soulmate questions okay so now you're feeling like this person that won't commit to you is a soulmate but into the same this is a lot of questions here with this person unanswered question this is what i'm hearing unanswered question this person has a lot of answering to do okay a lot of answering to do and i feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions. You might have been asking a lot of questions lately. This person might have not given you any answers that's kind of feeling settling. You're still kind of searching. For some of you, maybe trying to do a personal read to see where their mindset is because you still can't understand this soulmate, so you thought type of a person. Clarify the soulmate, please. High divine power, okay? So there's some kind of a no ending here, but it's coming in as peace, love, and purpose, okay? I'm not going to lose you. Your, your sex is the best, <laughs> all right? This could be you that doesn't want to leave the soulmate person, yet there's so many unanswered questions here, and it's calling high, di high divine power, okay? With no ending, but there's peace, love, and purpose that's coming through here. What is this? Tell me more. Abuse, sadness, tears, pain, move on. There you go. Angels couldn't have said it any better. Any better. Any better. Dirty hands on spells here. I'm hearing this witchcraft that's connected here, okay? If this is not you, this is what is connected to your person. Dirty hands of spells. Witchcraft. Somebody tried something here, Okay? This person is in the middle of a situation. If you didn't try something, somebody else did. But there's some kind of a spell that was cast here. 
Two soul star. Yeah. <laughs> Two soul star. Perfect partner separation souls. Yeah. It's it's only going to cause separation. If you are separated with this person already, it's because of dirty hands of spells. Okay. Um, and it's like I said, if you didn't do it, somebody else did it. And some, but if, if somebody else did it, that somebody doesn't want you and that person to be together. And that somebody is connected with your person. And they feel like they should be the one that is with this person. Three sums means third party. Either way, if they're connected to someone else, they're doing the same three sum stuff with that person as well. Okay? That's what I'm saying. I'm no longer angry. Somebody might have been angry about finding out something about some third party shenanigans or finding out that this person is either attached to someone who's doing spell work or this is them finding out something about whatever it might have been done to them. No longer angry. But there's a lot of stuff that's going on with this connection. What is this stuff that I'm hearing? I want to put a spell on you to love me. Oh, my Jesus. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. What did I just tell you, y'all? Somebody's getting their hands dirty because somebody, if this is not you, this is who's connected to this person. Okay. But somebody's trying to do a spell on this person to make them love them. And to make them choose. And to make them commit. Next 48. Please clarify that. Necessary ending is needed. Spirit lessons that new start. I ain't kidding y'all. Necessary ending. Okay. Spirit lessons that new start. New start is needed. Somebody need to start over honey. Somebody need to start over. Oof. Lesson will be learned, and that's called karma. Something needs to end here because, see, something has to end, okay? Because your person is not a type of a person who one should try to tie down because you will be in big trouble. Uh, because this person's energy is giving me more of a fidgety type of an energy, okay? They have a lot of stuff going on here, and they want to indulge in a lot of. Uh, it's okay to be freaky, but they have a lot of fetishes here, okay? And some of these fetishes, honey, you ain't know nothing about them yet, okay? So when you get into a committed something, then you're going to have to give in to these fetishes because they're going to be hungry. It's like taking away a bottle or a pacifier from a baby. Honey, let me tell you. But listen, okay? Into the same spirit, lesson, dead, new start. Mental hospital vibes, that's where it's going to end up. That's where it's going to be. If somebody don't listen, okay? Can't force that person. You can't force that person to make a decision to, to be with you and only you because it's going to go backfire. It's going to backfire. What is the next 48? Clarify these messages, please. Please clarify these messages. Hold on, y'all. Let me go. Open my window. Let's go open up the window, y'all. One second. Let's open up my window. Get some light up in here. Alrighty. Alright, let's do this. All right, angels, clarify these messages. The next 48, please. Clarify these messages, please. What is the message to be clarified at this time for Aries, please? What is the message to be clarified for Aries at this time, angels? Please clarify, please. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Page of Wands also being in here, here in the reverse. The Nine of Swords. The Lover's Card. On the back of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords also in the reverse. And I'm hearing there's some kind of a blockage here. We already know what that blockage is, okay? That's on period. 
Okay, we already know what that is all about here. Um, I'm hearing there's a massive delay, okay? There's a delay on this energy coming towards you with a commitment. Hello. And then there's also a delay going moving forward because somebody got their hands all messed up here with spell work, okay? Having someone wanting to love them and only them, okay? So there's a blockage, a blockage. A blockage has to be removed. The spell has to be removed. From this person okay so they could see clearly i can see clearly now the rain is gone i could see all obstacles in my way they'll be seeing all the damn obstacles and so will you okay all right so let's talk about this so we have the knight of wands in the reverse and then we have the page of wands now listen honey okay what I do feel, because of what is really going on with the energy, not only on theirs, but on yours as well, I feel like there's simply no kind of communication that is coming through um, with your person. And I do feel some kind of a fear that is coming through because the communication seems to be getting from bad to worse here. Um, um, I'm feeling like, okay, this page of ones in the reverse is really having me feel a very scared type of an afraid type of a situation. If this is not you that is feeling naked and afraid here, this is them, Okay. But someone's feeling hella scared here. Hella scared of losing the situation altogether. Losing control, losing your person, not being able not even to see this person. And it's a possibility because I already feel like there's something blocked here. If you're not blocked by phone, you're blocked by internet or you're blocked mentally. Okay? So something is blocked because of a delay here. Okay? All right? A massive delay. All right? Hold on, y'all. I'm getting a message here. 